lives near the newly proposed site of the Wayne County Jail has filed this lawsuit, hoping to prevent Detroit City Council from voting for it. Nicholas Miller spoke before Detroit City Council today about his concerns. He's worried that building a jail at I-75 and Warren will impact traffic and safety in his neighborhood. Councilwoman Raquel Castaneda Lopez's reaction to his concerns frustrated him. Well, I recognize concerns around safety. The people in and out of this jail system aren't necessarily criminals. Oftentimes they're innocent. But the fact of the matter is that there are people who are inclined toward crime who are going to be released at that site. Today he filed a lawsuit trying to block city council from approving the jail plan. I have personally been the victim of a crime in Detroit. I was um, assaulted and mugged and sent to the hospital by a person who was out on bail from the county jail. City council members admit they've only been looking at the plan for a couple of weeks. Here is what we know about it. Billionaire Dan Gilbert's Rock Ventures wants the land where the unfinished jail stands across from the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. He offered to build a new jail and court complex for Wayne County here near I-75 and Warren off a of ferry. But the county would need Detroit to give 11 acres that are part of the DDOT facility there. To make this plan possible, the county is offering Detroit the old American Motors site on Plymouth Road, which could be worth $757 million. The county wants a decision fast because the unfinished jail is costing it more than $1 million a month. We're trying to do obviously what's best for the 1.7 million residents of Wayne County, right? We need a new jail. The jail conditions that we have right now are not the most ideal conditions. City council members want the county to come back with more information. Take some of the concerns from the last two meetings, one of which is maybe closing East Ferry, uh, some additional concerns around security and have a solid plan how they're going to address those issues. City council plans to discuss the plan next week. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.